Yamuna dancers, jointing hearts and building powerful relationships. Professionally managed over the last few decades, today Yamuna Densons has evolved into a one-stop shop providing 360 degree solutions through an exhaustive range of cable jointing accessories. We develop and manufacture as per customer specifications various jointing systems and accessories including engineered products like power cable jointing kits, fiberglass products, heat shrinkable accessories, bus bar insulating sleeve and shroud at joints, cold shrink accessories etc. under the now popular brand name Densons. The state of the art equipment and machineries complemented by a vibrant quality consciousness have imparted a high degree of superiority in the products which have elicited preference for Yamuna Densons products amongst the power industry leaders. Yamuna Denson's heat shrinkable outdoor terminations for three core XLPE insulated cables is the result of several invaluable years of dedicated studies and R&D. No wonder that in addition to technical superiority, it is quick and convenient to install and has proven to be most reliable and cost effective. Procedure for cable preparation. Check the cable end and ensure it is free of moisture and defects. Using a measuring tape, mark at 530 mm on the outer sheath from the cable end. Ring cut along this mark with a hacksaw or suitable cutter and remove the portion of outer sheath and the armor. From the edge of the armor, mark 10 mm and remove the inner sheath to reveal the three cores and the fillers. Do this carefully to avoid any nick to the metallic foil underneath. Remove the fillers and space out the three cores. Solder the copper binding wire on the metal tape shield of one core about 100 mm from the end of inner sheath. Ensure that the free ends of the copper binding wire extend up to the armor wires. Install the remaining copper binding wire on the other two cores in the same way. Mark a length of 65 mm on the outer sheath from the cutback and expose the armor. Insert the backup ring under the exposed armor. Extend the fixed copper binding wire down towards the wire armor for main earthing arrangement. Wrap one layer of copper braiding around the armor with minimum 30 mm overlapping. Also insert copper binding wire under this assembly. Tighten the complete assembly with jubilee clamps. The remaining copper braided strip should be taken out for connection to the earth point. Wrap two layers mastic sealing tape over the earthing assembly and sharp edges if any. Mark 150 mm from the edge of the inner sheet and carefully remove the metal foil. Mark 25 mm from the edge of metal foil and remove the semiconductor screen to expose the XLPE insulation. Use alloxide tape provided in the kit for polishing the insulation over the wire core. Then cover 10 mm of insulation and 5 mm of the extruded semiconducting screen with stress control paint. Apply silicon grease on the exposed portion of the core insulation. Insert stress control tube over one core at 20 mm over the metallic foil. Proceed to insert the stress control tubing on the remaining two cores one after the other. 
Using a blowtorch, start shrinking the tube from the lower end and proceed upwards. Ensure that the tube is shrunk uniformly and is free from voids and wrinkles. Insert the breakout over the cores and pull it down into the crutch as far as possible. Shrink the breakout into place starting at the center. Work first towards the lower end and then shrink the fingers onto the cores. Insert the red, non-tracking, heat-shrinkable, weather-resistant tubes one over each core and push it down to overlap fingers of the breakout. Shrink the tubes together up to the lower end of the stress control tubes. Thereafter, shrink the tubes one after the other. Then, friction cut the XLPE insulation to expose the conductor. Insert the first polymeric rain shed skirt and position it 150 mm below the top of the stress control tubes. Position the second skirt at a distance of 100 mm below the top of the stress control tubes and shrink it in place. Repeat the same process on the other two cores. Put the terminal lugs on the conductor and crimp it with the applicable die. Cover the exposed XLPE insulation and the terminal lug with the help of self-valconizing insulating tape. Place the heat shrink lug sleeve over the crimped lug barrel in a way that it overlaps the lug barrel and heat shrinkable tube and shrink it. Yamuna Denson's heat shrinkable outdoor termination for 3-core XLPE insulated cable is now complete.